What is up YouTube and welcome to this, this Spider-Man exclusive footage breakdown. So, we got some footage out of an expo called CCXP and they got very lucky and were being able to show some and see some fantastic shots from the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie. Now this was leaked, or well, not leaked footage, rather just more like a kind of sneak peek at the upcoming movie, which is set to be fantastic and I'm predicting to be even bigger than The Avengers, which is the highest grossing movie easily. So, well, it is arguably a lighting Twitter with fire of a trailer, which I'm a bit unsure actually is going to come out. But I will break down this footage because it's got some huge, huge things in it. Now, arguably one of the biggest things to come out of this footage is the word of a brand new suit, courtesy of Tony Stark. So in the footage slash trailer, we get to see Spider-Man talk to Happy Hogan, who is delivering a case, a brand new suit for Peter Parker, which features the classic underarm webbing, which is awesome because this suit is iconic. And I feel like in the Tobey Maguire and even Andrew Garfield movies, they didn't really get the suit right. And it seems like they are properly playing to that member berry nostalgia. Now we get to see footage of the suit in action and he can actually glide, which is pretty interesting. And it does make a lot of sense that he's gonna have enhanced powers because this suit is courtesy of Stark Industries, which will have the resources to make a better suit for him. And it is unclear as to why Tony really is helping him out this much. Personally, I'm not too happy that we're getting too much Tony Stark in this movie because Spider-Man is a big enough franchise to stand on its own because in the 90s, it was the gold standard for comic franchises. Now, it would kind of make sense that Tony Stark is in the film, really, when you think about it, because, well, this kid is gonna need a mentor to guide him through his career. And the Avengers now are pushing 10 years, really. So I'm not sure what the timeline is in the MCU in kind of actual time, how long they've been the Avengers or been the actual characters. But we are pushing a decade here, which is mad when you think about it. So we've got Tony Stark helping him out. And I have heard rumblings that we are going to get a team up of Spider-Man and Tony Stark fighting against the Shocker, which, and also the Vulture, played by Michael Keaton. So the reason that Peter Parker is flying in this is flying towards the Vulture. So I expect in a full trailer, we will see a proper reveal of the Vulture because there's been no picture of him at all yet. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed that. Please do subscribe if you're new. Please do like as well and comment below. See you soon. Goodbye.